The Russian Ministry of Defense released a video of the launch of the long-range R-37M air-to-air missile from a Su-35S fighter. Welcoming the 100th anniversary of the 929 VP State Flight Test Center Shkalev 929 GLIT, shows a video of the test launch of a Su-35S fighter with a long-range R-37M air-to-air missile, reports live journal BMPD. The R-37M long-range air-to-air missile, also known as RVVBD and Product 620, was developed by the Vimpel Design Bureau and according to published data was put into use in 2014. The RVVBD air-to-air missile is claimed to have a maximum firing range of up to 200 km and a launch height of 15 m to 25 km. The RVVBD missile weighs not more than 510 kg, with a 60 kg high explosive fragmentation warhead. The missile has a length of 4.06 m, a body diameter of 0.38 m and a wingspan of 0.72 m. Missiles can be fired in fire and forget mode, with an angle of attack of plus or minus 60 degrees and a gravitational pressure of up to 8 grams. The RVVBD missile can be used on Russian Suhoi and MiG fighters using the AKU-410-1 and AKU-620 launch devices. The R-37M missile is likely already used on the MiG-31BM intercept jet, capable of carrying up to six missiles, and is now being integrated into the Su-35S combat arsenal, can carry up to four missiles, two under the fuselage and one under the wing. Closing parenthesis dot. Russia is also likely to integrate this missile as an arsenal of the Su-57 stealth fighter. The R-37M is a Russian hypersonic air-to-air -air missile with very long range. The missile and its variants also had the names K-37, Izdali 610 and RVD and the NATO codenames, Axehead, and, Andy. It was developed from the R-33. It was designed to shoot down tankers, AWACS and other C-4 ISTAR aircraft whilst keeping the launch platform out of range of any fighters that might be protecting the target. The missile was designed in the early 1980s and first flown in 1989. Testing of the R-37 continued through the 1990s, and in 1994, a trial round scored a range of 162 nautical miles 300 kilometers. However, the program appears to have been dropped around 1998 on grounds of cost. Work on the missile appears to have restarted in late 2006, as part of the MiG-31BM program to update the Foxhound with a new radar and ground attack capability. In 2018, the R-37M had finished its operational validation tests. The R-37 is now in production to equip upgraded Russian MiG-31BM interceptors. Despite the early intent to integrate the weapon on the flanker family, this has yet to be reported. The R-37 was developed from the R-33. For compatibility with aircraft that did not have the MiG-31's sophisticated radar, the semi-active seeker was replaced with a variant of the Agat 9B1388 active seeker. Mid-body strikes enhance lift and hence range, and folding tail controls allow semi-conformal carriage on planes that are not as big as the MiG-31. According to Defense Today, the range depends on the flight profile, from 80 nautical miles 150 kilometers for a direct shot to 215 nautical miles 398 kilometers for a cruise glide profile. According to Jane's there are two variants, the R-37 and the R-37M. The latter has a jettisonable rocket booster that increases the range to 300 to 400 kilometers 160 to 220 nanometers. The R-37M designation has since been used for a modernized variant of the missile, also known as RVVBD. R-37M is hypersonic and has range exceeding 300 kilometers. It will be carried by the modernized MiG-31BM interceptors and Su-35S and Su-57 multirole fighters. 
It is not known if the long-range air-to-air missile for the Su-57, designated as Isdali 810, is a derivative of the R-37M. The missile can attack targets ranging in altitude between 15 to 25,000 meters. Missiles can be guided semi-actively or actively through Agat 9B1388 system.